Hey guys, RuneScape 3 has officially been released, although the most prominent feature of it right now is the interface system. Um, HTML5 has not officially come out yet. I kind of expected that to happen. It's definitely still in beta stage and they need to keep working on it. Um, but of course you can still experience the HTML5 beta and also still play in the main game and still experience also the interface system. At least it should be updated right now. They released new group content about Lumbridge and the Battle of the Gods. This likely leads up to their introduction of the divination skill. Um, I'm not too sure of what you do except for gather these little divine tears for now. Um, apparently it gives you more XP as you go along, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so you can choose which faction you want to be on. Of course, by default, Sarah tends to lead over Zamorak. Although, of course, you can switch factions at any time. Um, there are attackable NPCs, which I think give you divine tears, I'm not too sure. But of course, you can always mine them, woodcut them, or fish them. Seems to be a really popular activity, so if you haven't logged on yet, I'd say log on, check it out, play with the interface system a little bit. Um, but basically, you first walk into an encampment, and the recruitment officer will give you a choice to join. Then once you have tiers, you can deposit them here, and then you can vote for basically which buff that you want. Um, I've just been voting for this one, and then it shows you basically how long you have left. Also, if you go talk to Duke Horatio on the second floor of Lumbridge Castle, he will actually give you an experience bonus. Um, right now, you can see I have 32k XP towards smithing, so as I'm smithing I will gradually get that experience. I believe it's double, but I'm not sure. And for now I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, there seems to be a couple problems. I can't... It's a little bit weak. Uh, see, these interfaces are really difficult to hold on to sometimes. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, but yeah, you're just mainly going to have to experiment with what you kind of like. See, I can't even move this back down now anymore. Um, if you go to the options though, you get all of your game settings, which you can use to edit transparency of the windows. Less transparent, obviously, as you can tell over here with the chat and the inventory. More transparent over here. Bear in mind, it, it's not really individual. So, for example, the bank will also be transparent, which is really actually difficult to see. Um, so maybe somewhere in the middle would be good. Of course, all of your other controls, which you can set custom keybinds for a lot of things, such as the world map, you can just do M, skills is S, backpack is B, of course, and then a bunch of other stuff. Unfortunately, we cannot change our function keys um, away from their default. So for example, F1 will pop up hero, which has basically you, all of your skills, so on and so forth. Um, also has pets, which is kind of cool, achievements is up there now. Um, the individual skill guides, uh, you can still reach that by clicking on the skills over here. I'd recommend going to edit mode and edit the gameplay, which you can change how everything appears basically. Um, my XP tracker was originally somewhere over here, and I moved that over here. Um, my buffs and debuffs are right there. I'm not sure where the grave stuff is. Uh, but you do have your bank over here, so if you really wanted to, you have your bank in the far right corner. It's a lot to initially look at, but once you get the hang of it, it can look pretty nice. Also, there are a lot of presets over here, depending on which you really prefer. Um, the old school, of course, looks basically exactly like the old interface system, which if you kind of don't like this change, then that's likely perfect for you. And then we're back here. Um, but I really would like to see HTML5 actually implemented and having it working because this area would look a lot cooler if you could actually see everything that's going on. Um, but that's really all I have to say about this. I really like it so far. I'm still kind of playing with everything right now. Um, I'm not sure how to move this. I messed it up somehow in my gameplay settings recently and I have to move that back. But it's a lot of fun. You can always lock over here, and then that way you can't actually move anything, which is convenient. Um, but not so much else to say about that. I really like the camera zoom, how we can actually look a little bit under. 
over ourselves now and easily zoom in and out. Um, but I guess in the meantime, I'm just going to keep gathering divine tears and work my way up with those. If you guys would like, please feel free to share your interface customization. Um, I'd like to see how other players are experiencing this update. I'd like to see all the unique customization that you guys are coming up with. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.